Welcome Capricorn to your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 4th of September for the Sun or the Ascendant. If you tuned in last week you'll know that Mars has climbed into the most assertive part of your situation. It's going to continue to be of great assistance to you over the next five and a half weeks but last week it was blunted a little bit by the more cautious energies of your ruler. I think you can really find your voice this week however and you may feel but hold on Patrick isn't Mercury the planet of communication in a retrograde? Well it is but it's forging a stunning alliance with Jupiter on the first day of this week. So we have the messenger planet linking with the planet of trade Jupiter in the part of your situation to do with uh, showcasing your talents, your enthusiasm, even your affection in a really positive way. But then you may think, hold on Patrick, isn't Jupiter going retrograde on Monday? Well it is, but don't feel that you can't still make progress. This is one of those weeks which has lots of goodness packed into it. Not least that Venus, the planet of relating, but also of money, which has been going backwards for six weeks in your sector of shared finance or anything to do with business interests, that goes direct on Monday. And then we have a Casemia, Mercury Casemia at the heart of this week. This is where uh, Mercury is so close to the Sun, it's actually aligned exactly to it. And so although Mercury is retrograde, this ninth house energy, especially for a cautious sign like yourself, is really urging you to be uh, really quite enterprising, even buccaneering in your approach. In other words, have total belief in what you're trying to do, even if it is a little bit different, fresh, or for you, uh, a bit outside your comfort zone. Now on Wednesday there is a quarter moon and this occurs in the sign of Gemini. So this sixth ninth house energy does give you a little bit of a conflict because the sixth house is asking you to look after the nuts and bolts, make sure that all the chores are done, fulfill your obligations. The ninth house is urging you to be more daring, to escape from uh, the more everyday elements of life and to do something that's more adventurous, independent or spontaneous. So there may be some things that you will just have to make a trade on because obviously we can't always get everything on our own terms. But by Friday, the sun is in that tremendous angle with Jupiter. So although Jupiter is going to be going retrograde through to the end of December, and it is a big deal, and for you it's in the part of your situation to do with romance, but also risk, but Jupiter in Taurus is a wise owl. It's not as free-spirited, it's not so inclined to pile into situations without more forethought. So it's slowing down really speaks to that part of your nature which tends to be that much more careful in the way you approach things. And of course with Saturn, your ruler in retrograde in the part of your situation to do with how you think and express your everyday ideas, everyday communication, you're not really in the space anyway to over-egg the pudding. So just see Jupiter retrograde as something that could be a challenge. Of course, it depends on the degrees and how it impacts on your personal planets in your natal chart. So it can lead to a slowing down. It depends on what house it's in, in your natal chart, not just the fifth house in this solar narrative. But by the end of the week, with the Sun and Jupiter in a 120 degree trine, uh, pretty well the best aspect you can get in astrology, Jupiter gives us that self-belief. It can bring goodness to us. The trick with Jupiter is not just to assume it will happen, but I think that runs counter to your nature anyway. So Venus going direct, Jupiter linking brilliantly with, with Mercury, the Mercury Kazemi, uh, is going to magnify your imagination, especially if you're wanting to travel, go on a course, apply for higher education, learn a language, learn how to play an instrument. Anything that gives you an opportunity to widen your horizons is really going to be emphasized in a very positive way this week. 
Now I'd just like to remind you that you can watch your year 2024 deep dive forecast by clicking on the link beneath this video. And also, if you want to take advantage of my very special opportunity to order your year 2024 personal forecast now, based on your unique birth data, no two charts are the same, and you can get 30% off and your personal character analysis or life roadmap to gain a more intimate understanding of your life patterns, please see the link beneath this video too. Thank you.